So often I hear people saying, let's mix up some cement. Well, what are you using it for? You want plaster, mortar, or concrete? <laughs> you should see the shock on their faces. So today I'm gonna to explain and show the differences. Plaster is a mix of water, cement, and very fine sand, which is used as a finish on both exterior and interior walls. It acts as a layer of protection for the wall. It conceals uneven surfaces by giving a wall a smooth, clean finish. Plastering is also great if you're wanting to paint the wall or give it a color wash. A plaster also protects the wall from the elements, like the rain, etc. The most common ratio for mixing plaster is 1 is to 6, that is 1 part cement and 6 parts plaster sand. But depending on the fineness of the sand, you may need to tweak this a bit. Add a bit of water at a time and mix until you get a thick yogurt-like consistency. Now, I previously did a clip on how to plaster a wall. And if you want to see just how easy it is, click the link in the description below. Mortar, on the other hand, is also a mixture of water, cement, and coarse aggregate sand. But the difference is that it's used as a binding agent for brickwork. The standard brickwork mortar ratio is 1 to 6, that is 1 part cement and 6 parts river sand. Again, add small amounts of water, and for this mix, you want to get a peanut butter like consistency. And one way to test that the consistency of the mixture is correct is to see how it adheres to the trowel. Scoop some of the mortar and turn the trowel 90 degrees. If it falls off immediately, the mix is too thin. If not, then you've got it right. If it's too thin, add more sand and cement at the same 1 to 6 ratio. Concrete is a construction material that is made of cement, coarse aggregates, water, as well as stone. It's actually the most commonly used man-made material on Earth, from bridges, roads, dams, flooring, etc. The most common ratio for mixing concrete is one part cement, three parts river sand, and three parts stone, plus some water. Concrete is classified using MPA, or megapascal rating, the most common being 15, 25, and 30 MPA. The higher the rating, the stronger the concrete. Now there's a common myth that using more cement in your ratio will give you a stronger mixture. <laughs> this is not true. Always follow the instructions and the guidelines to ensure that you have the right composition. And often, the ratios are listed in the packaging. It's also advised to cover the concrete or keep it moist for the first few days to slow down the drying time. Now, knowing these differences is key to having a solid structure. How's that for a concrete statement? Now, remember, build a stock cement and has the right types of sand and stone for your project. For more videos like this, check out the blog on the website. Get to build this, get it done.